So I'm getting a few questions on how to turn off a subroutine. So in the next lab, what we're going to have you do is we're going to make a bunch of different light routines, as in light, as in L-I-G-H-T, they're lights that turn on, and they're ran with timers and such. But what happens is they'll put people will put in a selector switch like this over here that turn on their B3s. And in, no matter what, this selector, selector switch is making one of these bits true. So one, no matter what, always they have a uh, like a light a circuit running, I guess. I'm sorry, like a, they have one of the subroutines is always running. So what we want to do is we want to put in a master uh, on off style rung right here. So that way we don't have to turn the PLC off to stop the subroutine, okay? So what we're gonna do is, this is just a typical motor control style latching circuit. When I go ahead and I press my green system start button, it's going to latch that B3 on over here. It's gonna latch that, it's gonna, I'm sorry, it's gonna latch itself on right here. And then that B3 is just used in multiple rungs as another condition. So if that condition's not met, there's no true, um, B3 down here, okay? I know this is getting really confusing because I'm just, everything is B3s almost anymore. Um, but even when I, I got my selector switch right here, when I flip my selector switch, let me, it's gonna flip from one rung to the other, and now this rung is true. So you can kind of see what I'm after here. I'm just putting more conditions on to a circuit that I've already put together, and it's kind of making it, you know, giving me more options. Now you could easily turn this so this B3 here has multiples of these and kind of gives you more options, okay? So I hope that helps you guys. Um, that'll help you fulfill some of the requirements for the next lab. Um, if you got any questions, please, as always, let me know and good luck.